it's me. I am just prepping the stamp set that I'm going to be using today because uh, it only arrived yesterday late afternoon. So I haven't planned anything. I mean, come on, who would who would expect me to plan anything? But I hope you are well. For those of you who may not know me, my name is Liz Ewell and I work under the heading of Old Stables Crafts and I'm a stamping up demonstrator based in the UK, working across the UK, France, Germany, Austria, the Netherlands, Ireland and Belgium. Yay, you got them all in. Um, so when you join, do let me know where you are joining from. Let me just see. I am live. Goody, goody. And I've just got a new team member. So I'm really happy. Uh, someone has made the most of the joining offer. So, yeah. It is a very warm afternoon here. Um, so I have got a fan going in the background. So if it starts being noisy, do let me know. Um, it has got a fairly high pitched whine, but it's one of those ones that is slightly air conditioning as well. Hello, Nora. How are you? Is it as warm and sunny in Ireland as it is over in the UK? Hello, Karen from Scotland. Hello, Jessie from Central Florida. Thank you. I'm, as I say, I'm very excited. What was lovely is that she was actually a referral from um, one of the other first time achievers on the incentive trip. Disclaimer. Um, fewer than 1% of demonstrators globally earn the incentive trip and only then after a lot of hard work. Um, so, oh, 29 degrees. Yes, it's about the same with us. So, yes, bless her. She has she has pointed a couple of people in my direction. Um, so, yes, and one of them has just joined my team, which is wonderful. So I'm really grateful for that. Hello, Anne from Bangan in Northern Ireland. So Nora is in what we try not to call the Republic of Ireland, because I know I, the Republic like to be called Ireland, and I get that. Um, so yes, Nora is in the South. Um, so, so yes, it's obviously warm on the whole of the island of the island of Ireland. <sighs> so I'm going to be using the Hey Chuck bundle today, which is a bit of a surprise for me at least, because I never thought I would buy it. But I've seen so many amazing um, projects using it that I've just had to succumb. Now, being Thursday, it does mean that I have just come from our village lunch club. Uh, so I'm completely unprepared. All I have got on my desk at the moment is the bundle um, and, you know, the usual rubbish that I have on my desk that buries what I need under it. Um, hello, Karen. So I am looking at the bundle on page 49 of the new annual catalogue do remember hello Jan do remember that if you need a catalogue you can order one through me I do ask if people can pick up the cost of postage um, and if you go to my website you will find the information there um, but it is only for the postage um, I will pick up the cost of the actual catalogue um, so you can do that if you order from me you will automatically get catalogues if you are if you place a first order with me, I will send you a catalogue with your first thank you pack. Hello, Stuart from New Hampshire. Jan, where are you today? Are you in Cornwall or Oxfordshire? So I am going to grab some papers and get started. So let me flip the camera down before I forget that at the moment you're just looking at my ugly mug. So there you are, you can have a look at the stamp set and dies while I dive under the desk to get some card. So I'm going to be using, because that's what they're using in the catalogue, I am going to be using some of the fish paper that we used earlier in the week. So I'm going to use that as the inspiration for my colours. So actually... Pecan pie is not a thing colour, it's a thing colour. So I'm going to grab 
some pecan pie cardstock. That's a, sh a bit of a sheet. So that's going to be the first thing that I cut. And then I'm going to use some, some of these papers. I'm going to use as the inspiration this card, but I'm not going to do an exact replica. Hello, Ginger from Colorado. And Jan is in Oxfordshire. So you're back from the south. And how is your toe? Jan has injured her toe quite badly. Right, so let's start with a card base and some stamping. I will need to grab some blends, um, but let's start. Oh, and I need to put one of the other lights on because I've only got two of my lights on and I need three lights on. Right, so this is Pecan Pie. And I've chosen that because it's in the fish paper. Um, so let's make a card base. So I score at 14.9. That gives me a very, very slight overlap or um, it doesn't line up totally. Uh, but if you do 14.8, it doesn't line up totally either. Um, so I do 14.9 and I have the slightly longer technically not a half, half at the front so that it's then easy to open up because if you have it that way up it's not so easy to open up. Hello Anne. Right so I also need some basic white card so I have a scrap of that and I'm not going to use this chappy here because that's what's used in the um in the sample in the catalog. I'm going to use this guy. So I'm going to grab a D block and some memento ink. So who has already got the Hey Chuck stamp set? Or am I in isolation? As I say, I really didn't think I was going to end up buying it and I am. Heidi Collins, um, who is on Instagram, um, has done some amazing projects with it. Um, there are other people who have done them as well, but hers did stick in my mind as being particularly wonderful. Um, I think possibly because I follow her, I see what she does. Um, you don't necessarily see what people do unless you follow them, but I do follow her. And she, bless her, has just had to have a tooth removed. She's on holiday, I want to say, in Prague. Might be wrong. Anyway, she's on holiday and I think she's, yeah, she's just had to have a tooth removed, which is not great, really. Right, I'm going to die cut our little chappy first. Oh, and I do need to do a couple of other bits of stamping before I do the die cutting. Uh, that one. These are still very newly stuck to the pad the cardboard. So I want the, um, haven't got it yet, but it's high on the list. Excellent. As I say, it was very low on my list and yet here I am using it. Um, so I'm going to have this chappy on the skateboard because, you know, he kind of needs to be. So he's going to be. So we'll pop that there. Might be a bit too close to do both bits at the same time, but we'll give it a go. I can always cut them apart. Right, okay, so snips. Where have I hidden them? There they are. So for those of you who are waiting for the instructions for my May Creativity in a Box, they're nearly done. The videos are all done. Um, I've written the instructions. I just need to link the videos and then we'll be good to go. Hello, Elizabeth from Dallas. This is the set on your list and you are my first video to watch for this set. Oh, thank you. I'm so pleased you like my cards. As I say, if you're on Instagram, go and have a look at what Heidi has done with them because she has made some lovely projects and I really must do more on Instagram. I go, I go through phases. Is that the right? Yeah, it is the right. It is the right one. Um, this is obviously the first time I have used these dies, so I'm a little unsure as to exactly how they line up. 
given that they've all got those feathers sticking out the back and things. Can I get this on at the same time? Yes, I can. I can be lazy. Because why go through twice when you can go through once? And why cut things apart when you can not bother? So uh, the uh, only bit of Dallas I have been to, I have to admit, Elizabeth, is Dallas-Fort Worth Airport. Um, which I have to say is now one of my favourite airports. It's just so well organised. Um, I, I was a little unsure because it's huge. Uh, even for someone who is used to Heathrow Airport, Dallas was huge. But it's so well organised. I didn't get lost or anything. Um, it was amazing. But it is enormous. Right. Okay. So those are the dies over there. That can go in the bin. Right. I am going to go and grab some blends. And I think I'm going to stick with pecan pie. And then grab some other bits as well. So we'll have that. We will have, where's my pecan pie? That's pecan pie. No, that's copper clay. Where's pecan pie got? Oh, it's up there. It's up there. That's pecan pie. We'll have a bit of that. Oh, we might have a bit of that. And possibly a bit of that. Right. Okay, a selection. Um, at this point, I've completely ignored the colours from the card so let's just see if any of those go with what I've got no they don't marvellous so I might actually change some of those couldn't make it up right so I will leave the campi there and I'm going to take everything else back um, and I will just dump that there because I then need the colours that actually work with the paper where is pebble path where is Pebble Path? Where does Pebble Path go? It goes there. I had Pebble Path out. Dear Lord. Right, wild wheat. That should that should do. Right. I'm gonna make it work. Okay, so I'm going to start with his head. And this is a light pebble path. I was at the gym this morning. Um, for those of you who follow me regularly, you will know I do small group personal training and we're doing a new type of um, HIT training, so high intensity interval training. Um, and it's killing me. Can I tell you how sore my left wrist is today? Um, I was quite pleased in a encouraged sort of way as opposed to um, a pleased way, but in an encouraged way. So I'm going to do dark pebble path on his eyelid and a little bit of just shading. Um, that, Calypso Coral, be back in a minute. Um, that, one of the other people who does the training, one of the guys, um, said that he felt like someone was ripping his arms out at the shoulders and I was really quite pleased to hear that because that's exactly how I feel but today at this precise moment is here that is really painful um, so if I kind of go uh, at any point that will be why so I'm doing calypso coral there I will bring a bit of calypso coral in on his legs as well and I haven't forgotten his skateboard. And so that's those, that's that. Put the lid on, always a plan. I'm going to use some wild wheat for his wings. This is dark. I'm going to do some shading down there because that would be in shadow. This is the point where I always get very worried because you all go terribly quiet. 
and I start wondering whether or not the link is still working. Um, my <laughs> so we had a team meeting on Tuesday evening. Dark, misty moonlight. Um, yes. Um, and I did fortunately preface the whole meeting with they are forecasting thunderstorms. Um, often because we are in rural Oxfordshire with the emphasis on the r bit um, we quite often get power cuts just as when I mentioned it because guess what quarter past so we started at six quarter past six bang no power they had a lovely meeting apparently hello Beverly You're just watching me colour Oh, Beverly likes the bundle good so this is light misty moonlight. So yes, and we I cannot I um Jan, I don't know what your garden is like post the thunderstorm. Um but if anything and if any of your plants have got holes in them, don't blame the slugs and snails. It will have been the um hailstones. I have never seen hail like it. And the stones I kid you not, were half an inch across, at least. And they just went through leaves. They were coming down so hard, they no mind about the leaves bouncing out of the way. No, no. No, 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 no. They just went straight through them. Oh, thank you, Stuart. That's very kind. Yes, a thumbs up is always appreciated. So, yes, I hope your garden survived, Jan. I mean, we just had to sit and watch it, but it was. the. Um, I made some netting covers for my husband's garden. Um, he does the fruit and veg bit. Um, you did have damage. I'm not surprised. Um, or you did enjoy yourself, both, probably. Um, so, yes, I made some netting covers for my husband's veg patch to cover the brassicas, so the cabbages, because we get cabbage butterfly, um, which then means it, that the, um, this is dark pebble path. Probably should have used light, but never mind. Um, and the, the whole frames blew off. They were just exposed, so he's got damage to some of his brassicas. Fortunately, the cauliflowers, which were about that big, um, seem to have survived. But the leaves may not have done, but the cauliflowers themselves did. Right, so I'm going to have some of that. And I think I'm going to go for some of that. They used, for the original, they used this. I say the original, the, the card that I'm kind of bouncing off. They used that. But I think that's going to be too dark. So I think I'm going to go for this. It's actually like a chart, as in a nautical chart. In fact, I might. I'm going to go diagonal stripe and chart. Right. So this is already cut narrower because I used that strip on Tuesday. So I am just going to be a bit brave and rip it. Now, if you pull towards you, this, this is the side. Most of your plants survived, did they, Jan? Good. So this is the side I'm going to use. So by pulling towards me, I get the white edge. Um, if I was pulling away from me, I would get a uh, not white edge. So if I do this, which is actually not what I want to do, if I go away from me, the white ends up on this bit, but actually it's also on this bit, so it's fine that I'm doing it this way. But if this was the side I was using, I'd end up with without the white showing at all. But I'm just ripping, because I do like the look of ripping, um, even if I do prefer to rip towards me. But I'm not sure that my delphiniums have now got enough leaf on them to give me flowers this year. Um, they were I only planted them early. Some of my sunflowers might have gone the way of the world. Um, I'm hoping not because I like my sunflowers. So that's going to go there. This is going to be too 
big, obviously, because it's too long. But let's see if I go there, that should be about right. And again, I'm going to pull towards me so I get the white edge. And I don't really care what sort of size piece I end up with. Um, it will end up overlapping the other, or oh, behind the other piece. And if it's, I'll probably end up with them offset um, looking at them. So this I'm pulling towards me because I want that white edge. Now they use the note, the note paper die, which I can't remember which set it's from. Um, but I don't, I'm trying very hard to not have too many products in any one project. I can throw the kitchen sink at things, um, which isn't necessarily terribly user friendly. So, oh, where's my card base? There we go. So, okay, it's fine. So if I tear at this point, it will be about right. Okay, so we're going to have that, we're going to have that, we're going to have our chappy terrified on his skateboard. So, glue. So yeah, I think the next couple of days will tell what we've lost and what we've kept. Um, my bay tree, which was looking a bit ill anyway, and we think that's probably because there's an ant's nest in the pot that it is grown in, um, is looking particularly unwell now. Um, but we were intending to give it a massive haircut or replace it. Now, there are words on here. I think that's the bottom. No, it was Monday night, wasn't it? We had our team meeting. I can't remember. I think it was Monday night. And then on Tuesday, it was our local WI meeting where we had a barbecue in one of the ladies' gardens. And then I had a meeting um, at 11 o'clock at night that finished at half past midnight. And I think I managed to get to sleep at a out um, one o'clock in the morning, possibly one thirty, because my brain was buzzing. Right, okay, so let's pop his skateboard down. I think we'll have that there. And his foot needs to go on his skateboard, or one of his feet needs to go on his skateboard, so I'm not too worried about about supporting his feet. So that now let's see what sentiments we can have. I think we will go for you rule the roost and I'm going to put that there and I'm going to use very vanilla. Because very vanilla is this colour. So let's see. You rule the roost should fit on there. And I'm going to grab the same colour, pecan pie. That was for my benefit as much as anyone's. Monday. Yeah, I just, my brain isn't really working. So, I wonder if this is straight on the block. Wish me luck. Yes! Hurrah! It's quite a useful font because it's a bit uppity downy. It's not actually a straight font. Um, so, yeah. Um, I'm going to tear the ends. I'm going to leave the top and bottom cut, but. I'm going to tear the ends because we're using tearing for a lot of the 
card and I would put probably a very vanilla um, liner in. I probably should have used very vanilla for the stamping but I wasn't really thinking at that point or indeed now. And I know the, per that wasn't straight, but never mind. I know the perfect embellishment. Oh, I got an open packet of those. Yes, I have. These, which are natural, natural, neutrals, sorry, neutrals, adhesive backed sequins. So they're slightly matte. They've got a sort of brushed finish. So I'm going to go for these, I think. Actually, we might put it behind him because otherwise he's going to run over it. So let's assume he jumped over these. And one up there. So I've got three areas um, and five sequins. So there you are. That is card number one kind of free form. So let's have a look at something else. I quite like the idea of the rise and shine. So I'm going to grab, I was going to grab, I'm going to cut some white. So I'll leave that there. some white and I'm going to put it on Ooh, am I going to cut white or am I going to cut vanilla Ooh, no I'm going to cut vanilla change of plan change of plan No, I haven't. Right, so sheet of very vanilla. Oh, some bits of very vanilla as well. That's probably big enough. Let's not cut into a piece just because we've got it. And I think I'm going to go with that pattern. So, is that going to work? Yes. So, I'm going to cut this at three and five eighths by five and three eighths and then so this is all going to be cut rather than torn I'm going to cut this at three and five eighths and five and five eighths did I say three and five eighths I meant three and seven eighths yes hello Lorna So that is going to be my work surface, as it were. And I'm going to grab, hmm, see what I want is Mango Melody, but we don't have it anymore. Um, uh, ooh, which shall I, hmm, shall I risk it? Risk it for a biscuit. I'm going to risk it for a biscuit. Wild wheat, let's see what happens if I use wild wheat. So I need a bit of a ribbon, about yay long, because I like to label my brushes with the colour that I'm using. I don't have a brush for every colour, but if there is a colour that is kind of odd, um, like this is a very odd colour, it doesn't know whether it's a brown, a green or a yellow, um, I will use a separate brush. So let's put some wild wheat ribbon around it. I mean things like mossy meadow and old olive I tend to use the same brush for. Parakeet party and lemon lime twist I would probably use the same brush for. Um, but 
wild wheat is a bit odd. Let's see what this is going to look like. Well, that's actually all right, bearing in mind what I'm going to be doing. And this is going to be covered. Um, what I would normally do is tap off on a piece of scrap, but I know that middle bit is going to be covered, so it's fine. So let's grab, and again, this is slightly lifted from the stamp, uh, from the um, catalogue. So, oh, uh, I need it to be bigger. So I'm going to use the the sunshine die. We have made some humorous birthday cards with the Hey Chicken Hey Birthday Chick bundles and want to add this to be able to make even more. Absolutely, Stuart. Wild wheat is hard to classify. Yeah, it is, Jesse. It doesn't really know what it is, particularly when you then put it on vanilla. I like it as a colour. I mean, I may be in, I may be pretty much on my own on that one. I do like it as a colour. Um, but yeah it's an odd color right so yes that's going to work i need surprisingly wild wheat which is in my wild wheat container is that going to be big enough oh it might be i don't think that is oh no it is even better Right, so I'm going to just chop a couple of bits of this because I'm going to make a full sun. So I am casing the catalogue. I tend to, if I've got a new set and I don't know where to start, particularly if I've decided to use it live for the first time, um, I do tend to look at the catalogue a little. Um, I would rather look at the catalogue than the than Pinterest um, because at least if I'm looking at the catalogue those image those images are pretty much up for grabs um, obviously one of the artistic team at Stamping Up came up with the designs but it's not like I'm using a, another demonstrator's design if I do then I would always um, mention that it is their design but Lorna likes it too, and all the other 23 to 25 in colours. Good. Hello, Laurie. Yeah, I like, I like these colours a lot. Someone described them. If you're having difficulties with them and you can't get your head around them, think of them as metallics. So this would be gold. Um, copper clay would be bronze, brass. Um, pebble path would probably be pewter uh, what else have we got boho blue would be silver and moody mauve and I know you don't pronounce it that way in the states but moody mauve would be rose gold so if you think of them as metallics it is slightly easier to get your head around them I will need that again, but just not yet. So, I haven't quite decided what colour card base to use, but these are going to go on here, lined up to make a full circle. Oh, so let's add those. I was going to say I'm not going to worry about sticking the ends down, but maybe I should because I've just caught one. They might be a case for using adhesive sheets. I don't know if I've got the patience. I'll not bother. I might have the patience if I wasn't on a live, but you know, the whole watching paint dry thing. going to actually, actually no I won't overlap, what I'm going to do is I am going to just get rid of 
that one and that one. I would rather have a gap than um, two together. So I'm going to overlap these very slightly. It's going to be slightly egg-shaped, which somehow seems right. Jesse likes that analogy. Good. I hope it helps. Okay, so I need a nice fat crow to go there because we need to cover him up. Cover up some of the sun. That's the word I'm looking for. Dear Lord. There really are moments when I wonder about my own well self health. Right, so let's use a nice fat crow. Let's get rid of that one, put that one home. That one can go back. Pick that one up. Memento. I'm going to stick pretty much to the same colours for colouring our chappy. Will that go in there? Yes. Okay, so I'll colour him, then I'll die cut him. Let's pop that there. When I can't find the die cut, it's on the sun. So let's bring the colours back. It's still on the sun, it's just over to the side because I don't want it in front of me. Right, I am going to do some pebble path. I'm going to give him a red comb by using Calypso Coral. Oh, he'll need a red one of those as well, won't he? And then I'll use light Calypso Coral. Hello, Jackie, how are you? Just got home. I hope you were doing something fun. I'm sure you were. So we'll give him a... Oh, no, that doesn't work as a beak. We will give him a pecan pie beak. That's better. I will give him light coral eyes and this is light pebble path I'm at the moment thinking about what colour I'm going to do his um, his tum. Let's put some dark up here where it's joining other bits of his anatomy. Let's draw on my thumb. That's a good idea. Dentist. Ooh, not good. I hope it was not too horrible. Right, I'm going to do his tail first because I kind of know what I'm doing with his tail because it's going to be blue and calypso. So we're going to go Misty Moonlight and Calypso. in a bit. Okay, I think we are going to go wild wheat. So I'm going to do, actually now I'm going to do light first. Used to be indecisive, now I'm not so sure. Rarely do I use the brush end.
you do need to be very respectful of your brush end. Um, if you want to do large areas, please use the side, not the tip, because otherwise you'll break the tip. And whilst these are meant to be, sadly, one-time use, not refillable, um, it would be quite nice if you did get at least their full life out of them. So that's light wild wheat and then I'm going to come in with dark wild wheat for some of these areas and I'm being very scribbly because this is a cartoon we do not need to be accurate on a cartoon by all means stay within in the lines but you do not need to be too concerned otherwise let's have a bit of shading down here I might blend that out a bit in a minute if it doesn't run anyway. And we're going to give him Calypso Coral Feet. And I've just decided that we're going to give him a fence. So let's grab the fence. He may even have two fences. I'll do two just in case. Lid. If someone has a spare brain, could you let me have it? Because mine seems to have gone completely walkabout. Right. This is pecan pie. We could do a white picket fence, but let's not, eh? And again, I'm not going to worry too much about being totally accurate on my colouring. The bottom of the fence doesn't finish, so we don't need it to finish. We can just kind of stop colouring. That's quite finished. I'm going to make it a little less finished. So I'm just not straightening that out. And if we end up with a bit more very vanilla than we planned, it's fine. And there is a die for the fence. I think I'm right in saying there are dies for all of the images, plus some extras. And then just for a little bit of shading. Right, time to die cut and put things together. So I'm going to have to go through twice, so regardless. You always say your brain is missing and yet I seem to follow you perfectly. Mm, I'm not going to comment, Jessie. I'm not quite sure if that is more about me or about you. And I mean that in the nicest and kindest way. Maybe having a butterfly brain is, is good. So, so we're going to have to go through twice purely to cut the, um, there he is, to cut the fence. Let's grab my bits of sticky tape. And I remembered where I've put my die, so we're all right. We don't have to turn the desk upside down to find it, because it's here. That's one. So this lovely air conditioning fan thing that I've got, which one of my now no longer downline very kindly sent me, I think actually, no, she did send it to me when she was on the team. Um, it's lovely, it works beautifully, but only on my left arm. 
I should probably have it there, but that's where my laptop is. And it, my laptop is temperamental enough without putting anything else near it. It keeps telling me it needs to do an update, and every time I try to do an update, it doesn't like the update. I don't know what one's supposed to do when your laptop says you need an update and it won't let you do it. So let's line that up as well as I can in midair. And we've got Swifts and House Martins back. And the House Martins are mudding because we've still got puddles down our road following the storm. Um, and they come and they, they pick the mud up in their beaks and then take it back to their nests to make their nests. And they make nests that hang underneath the roof. So in the underneath where the guttering is or at the side underneath the, um, I think they're called soffits. Um, it must take them forever because they're only little birds and they have quite large nests although they do like to come back and use the same nest year after year uh, which is fine assuming someone hasn't pulled it down in the meantime um, because between November and March you are allowed to do stuff that could end up with the um, nests being damaged but because they're protected you can't do it during nesting season oops so, yeah, and I'm going to put a little one just there, so it's got a bit of lift at the bottom as well as at the top. So what we're going to do is we're going to have the, cro the cock on the fence, so it's going to be kind of like that. And the other bit of fence will come down here. And this is what I mean. Let's put it this way up. It'll be easier to see, possibly. Um, so there's an unfinished edge on the fencing as well. Oh, we could go a bit 3D and have that. No, I'm going to have all of it up. I was thinking I might have some of it flat to the paper but I'm not. I decided to change my mind. It's my mind what I have of it and I'm going to change it. Hello Brenton. So we'll have that. Oh actually I'm going to stick that one on last because I'm going to have it going off the edge but I don't know where the edge is yet so sorry, I've got a dimensional backing. Right, okay, so let's add this to this and then I'll put my, then I will put my cockerel in place and then I will decide what colour card I'm going to use. And I may just, you know, embrace wild wheat. Because I can. I have a wild wheat card base, so let's use it. <laughs> Trouble when you're using very vanilla is that your bone folder looks like a piece of very vanilla, which isn't terribly helpful. But yes, what colour is wild wheat? I know we were saying this earlier, but what colour is it? Is it green? Is it yellowy? Is it brown? It really is a funny colour. And I don't dislike it, but it is a funny colour. Right, so before I stick this to something, let's stick it in place. So it's coming off the edge. Ooh, it would be quite nice to go off the edge even a bit more. There we are. And we need some dimensionals for him. So I just received my order for my next Creativity in a Box, which hopefully will be out on time this month. Um, 
and of course I've now realized all the card stock that I should have ordered that I'm out of um, but in it was this and um, and the new take your pick tools which I'm going to be playing with uh, there we go They did miss one thing out. Uh, I'm going to use Pecan Pie because we have got Pecan Pie on the card. So let's use it. I'm going to be brave. Okay, Sherry. Happily. I mean, I do know what you mean. Happily. Having not had any children, I don't go there. But yeah, I guess. What a lovely thought. Um, <laughs> thank you for that. No, I'm joking. Uh, yes, I do kind of know where you're coming from. So let us use some of the wild wheat dots. So yes, I've got more ends to go on my, on my take your pick. Which, of course, for me, I know the whole point of a take your pick is that you can just change things out. No, just have more take your pick tools. Right. Time for a quick one, possibly. So those are the two we've made so far. So let's do a quickie. <laughs> yes, quite Brenton. I think lol probably sums it up quite nicely. Right, let's just clean some of these stamps. Mm, what haven't I used? Some of the... Did I clean that one? Can't remember. Didn't clean that one. And I didn't clean the picket fence. So, oh, let's use him because he looks quite fun. Uh, I mean, they all look quite fun, but he looks particularly fun. So we'll have him. We might do a picket fence again. So let's get rid of him. And I think I'm going to stick with Rise and Shine. I think I might use that again, but I don't need that. Okay. What's that? Oh, it's that. Okay. And I think I'm going white this time, but I want some other card, paper, rather. Uh, I want, I want, I want, I want that. So I'm going to go in colour. I want boho blue to be one of my colours, which would be even better if I could find it. There we are, boho blue. Um, so we've got boho blue, we need all the in colours basically. So copper clay, mauve, boho blue we've got, wild wheat we've got, pebble path we've got. Right, so those are all of the in colour markers. So if I stick to in colours, we'll be fine. I do need white. Because I'm going to do this on white paper. And I'm going to go. I'm going to cut this. Is, mm, it used to be incisive and all that. Uh, I'm going to cut it here and then I'm going to cut it down from there. So I'm going to go three and three eighths. So I've taken off one, two, I've taken off half an inch. So I need five and one eighth. So that's the white. 
need to change my blade as well, which I haven't done for ages. Uh, and then, just have more tools. Absolutely. Why wouldn't you just have more tools? Um, it's what they're there for. Can't decide. No, I'm going to go move. So this is going to be cut to my what I would call my normal card base uh, layer size. So three and seven eighths by five and five eighths. So it's going to be there. And I am going to, am I going to be brave? <sighs> How brave do you think I'm going to be? I could probably do it. I'm going to do the stamping straight onto the card. Straight onto the card. Um, and hopefully line things up. Eek! Wish me luck. Okay. So we're going to have our, I'm just going to pop that there because this is going to be covered just, you know, just so that we clear on that. There's our fence. Let's not put that on there. Then let's get that out of the way. That's the easy bit. And this is where I need to get my bottom out because this is where the stamparatus would have been wonderful. That's not straight, but never mind. Yes, it almost lines up. It's like it was meant. It's not perfectly straight the the this but it's 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 I'm I'm happy right okay so I wanted boho blue because I want him to have and this is out of the catalog blue boxer shorts I mean, you know, like a chicken is going to have boxer shorts on. Might as well give him blue wheels as well. And that's blue. This is dark boho blue. The difference between the dark and the light of some colours is so minimal. I'm going to give him pink spots on his boxer shorts because, you know, chickens wear pink spotty boxer shorts. It's a known fact. Uh, I'll have some of that. I will have some more boho blue. Um, We'll start with that and see where we go. I think it's a lovely bundle too, Brenton. I I wasn't convinced as in certain sure and positive until I saw what particularly Heidi Collins did with it, but a lot of um, demonstrators. And actually, uh, Michaela Tithridge, who is one of the artisan team. Um, she's done some lovely things with them as well. Uh, this guy just looks like he's not awake. You know, he's kind of, huh? What? He reminds me of the chicken version of, now this may not translate across the world, but hey, um, did anyone have the magic roundabout? And if so, this is Dylan. Hey man, a bit, you know, spaced.
this colouring may or may not work. I'm just saying that. I am working on the premise that you can use all of the, the, the ink colours um, together and they will work. That's my theory and I'm sticking to it. Oh, and it kind of works. Should probably have used the light, but it's fine. The mauve and the copper clay do work together. So it's good. So let's use some light as well, just to help blend some of that in. Okay, let's use the light for his top half. And Pebble Path. I'm going to add some dark mauve to his top half as well. Because it's a little pink. Could do with it being a little darker. But not until I have added some shading with this. I do know I've got to do the fence as well. And that's fine. Just want some shading there. Uh, dark. Dark copper clay legs. And then I've just got to do the fence and put this together and we're pretty good to go. I'm going to get this to cheat a bit and I'm going to make that all his feet so that it doesn't look like he's on tiptoes. Hello Deborah from Michigan. Uh, right, fence is going to be copper clay. And again, I'm just going to stop colouring where the end is. There isn't an edge, so I'm not going to give it one other than there because I have cut that edge off. And then a little bit of shading. Now, I have a not I have a problem. To me, this is floating. So we need to give it a base. So I'm going to use crumb cake because it needs to it needs to be some somewhere. Can't just be hanging in midair. So we're gonna give it something to Apparently I need a new crumb cake light blend. So that's given it some ground. And now we need to give it some shadow. Now I've got this in shadow there, so to the right. So my shadow, and I will be going over this again, is going to be here. And it's got bits and there and then I'll come back in with my light crumb cake and blend that out a bit so that it doesn't look like they're hanging in midair. It's now grounded. Right, so the easy bit is this is going to go on to the pattern paper. The difficult bit is to decide what colour card base I'm going to use. That looks pretty 
pretty even. Hmm. So, oh, I don't like that. Sorry, I've got to just don't like that being light. That's better. Happier now. Um, right, so Pebble Path. just add some dots and we will be good to go. I think I'm going to go pebbled path with my dots because I think we've got enough of the mauve floating around. Shall we go over there? Now with these, do be careful to go behind the dot. Um, otherwise you can split the dot from the sticky bit. It looks like he's saying, I will rise but refuse to shine. <laughs> oh, Stuart, that's wonderful. Yes, it does. It's like, really, seriously, really. You think I'm going to get up? Let me tell you something. I'm not. Yeah, we ought to change that exclamation mark into a question mark triangle. Right, so that is our kind of one layer simple, yes, we use some DSP, okay, card. Then this was the one we did first as a case from the catalog. This is the other one we did that's sort of this one is sort of this one with a bit of this one thrown in for good measure. Um, but yeah, and then that one is out of, sort of out of my head other than he's there. But yeah, so there you are. I hope you enjoyed those. I think they are a really fun set and I think they're those, one of those sets that you can use for anyone. Certainly anyone with a sense of humor. There is a birthday sentiment, which I haven't used. Um, and a birthday cake so we've got it's your birthday we've got a cake we've got you've got something to crow about um, so it is an all occasion stamp set for people with a sense of humour really um, anyway thank you very much indeed for joining me today I hope you enjoyed what you saw thumbs up is always appreciated uh, if you haven't already if you're watching the replay you can ask any questions below the description bar and I will get back to you I think I'm one behind at the moment um, but hey hello um, thank you Brenton so thank you very much thank you Jesse Jan is now going to get the set and Stuart is also definitely going to have to order it soon my work here is done as they say so thank you very much indeed for joining me i hope you have enjoyed it as i say a thumbs up is always appreciated if you would like to subscribe and haven't already done so you can do that in the bottom right hand corner fingers crossed if everything goes according to plan i will have a proper simple stamping saturday this weekend i know so who knows thank you jesse thank you thank you laurie always says always enjoy your company thank you laurie and likewise so thank you very much indeed. I will see you again very soon, but until then, 